because you put that limitation on yourself by using that word, hey, I can't. Don't even put that in your vocabulary. I can't do this. I can't just say, you know what? It's difficult right now because I'm just new to me. I, I'm learning to adjust. See, it's called word affirmation and empowerment. Do the word. But like I said, sometimes we put ourselves so that we can become our worst enemies and get in our own way. I mean, too, it even if this, especially when you settled in your way. You know what I'm saying? When you settle then your way, you can be more troublesome than someone who is more freshly in their mind. That's why we usually target our target day in youth. And their mind is a little bit more clearer. So they can grasp as much as they can. You know? But after you start to become a certain degree, you start to you get settled in your ways. That's why we pass on sometimes. That's why you know you can keep it by giving it away by passing it on to somebody else. A seed, some seeds you can plant, right? And they might still don't grow because the weeds might come and then choke them up. Other seeds might just be the wind might come and swift them, and then the seeds will grow elsewhere. Or the birds might chop up the seed and shit it out somewhere and, and then plant it somewhere else. So that's how seeds work. And it's also how you know we teach. Why are you think you went all over the world? You don't know where the next person went. Where you went? Hey, hey, I'm gonna go to China today. Come here. They went to China, and we met them on the street corner. So you'd be surprised on, on the information that you know, because that's what we do. We share information, knowledge is information, and not based on observation. So where we share with somebody and how far they might take it. You know, and it also crosses generation lines. So, you can remember stuff, grandma, grandpa told you something and so on and so forth, you know, a long time ago. And then you pass it and you found out a jewel in it, because we call the jewel something precious, and then you pass it on down the road. And so the way it goes, no one knows how far it travels. It's like the root of civilization. The root of civilization didn't just stop where they, where they chose to build right there. They took it and they traveled. That's why they said they renewed their history because they went all over the earth and then they traveled which part was going to be the best part to do certain projects at certain times. You know, because you're dealing with the elements, you're dealing with adaptation, you're dealing with all of those different sciences. You know, the weather and everything else. So we preserved the best part, they didn't care about the poor part. You know, because the, the poor part <laughs> was still in the in, in, in ice and everything else was every damn way. Sometimes, understanding, right? It doesn't come overnight. I'm still I'm starting to understand some things somebody told me 20, 30 years ago. So we sit, you know, meditate. Especially when you're in bed, you sit in meditation. Or you just sit trying to quiet your mind from distraction. Some shit be coming to you. You be like, oh shit, I never thought that. I never seen that like that because of our perspective. I didn't never see the connection between one thing and another. You know, so you can't just jump to some conclusion and say, well, this is this without having the proof. Mathematics is law and order. If Mega did this, did this.